In this module, you learn how to connect a small remote site having a single router to the MPLS VPN network. BGP will be used as the routing protocol between the site's router and the MPLS VPN network. To understand this module, you should have basic router configuration knowledge, equivalent to the CCNA certification. The service provider you're using should give you four parameters when they want you to use BGP to connect your remote site to the MPLS VPN service. The IP address is to use on the link connecting your site with the MPLS VPN network and the autonomous system numbers, also known as AS numbers, to use with BGP. You will need the AS number used by the MPLS VPN network and the number the service provider has assigned to your site. You will do the basic router configuration on your own, including the configuration of the LAN interface. We'll cover the WAN interface configuration and the BGP configuration, which consists of three steps. Starting the BGP routing process, configuring the BGP neighbor, and configuring the IP prefixes you want to advertise from your site. In the next few minutes, we'll configure the site router and connect it to the MPLS VPN network. The service provider has given us the parameters that are shown on this slide and we'll use them in the configuration process. The WAN interface configuration uses familiar Cisco IOS commands. After entering the router configuration mode with the configure terminal command, you select the interface you want to configure, specify the encapsulation, enable the interface with the no shutdown command and assign an IP address to the interface. The router BGP configuration command starts the BGP routing process. The command takes one parameter, your AS number. In our case, the AS number assigned to your site by the MPLS VPN service provider. BGP does not discover adjacent routers like OSPF or RIP. You have to configure them manually with the neighbor configuration command. You have to specify the neighbor's IP address and the neighbor's AS number. In our case, the AS number of the MPLS VPN network. If you get both parameters right, a syslog message will confirm that the BGP session with the neighbor has been established. You have to specify which local networks you want to advertise to the MPLS VPN network. The easiest way to specify them is with the resubmit connected command, which advertises all local IP subnets into BGP. You can use numerous commands to monitor BGP, but the most important ones are the following. Show IP BGP summary, to monitor the state of the BGP sessions. These are the sessions with your neighbors. Show IP BGP to see what BGP routes your router is advertising and what BGP routes it receives from its neighbors. And show IP route to see which BGP routes are inserted in the IP routing table. The show IP BGP summary command displays the BGP neighbors you've configured and the state of the BGP sessions. You can use these commands to verify your configuration and compare it with the parameters the service provider gave you. The session state, which is the last column in the printout, tells you whether the BGP session is operational. If the session is operational, the column contains the number of BGP routes received from the neighbor. Otherwise, it tells you what's wrong with the BGP session. The show IP BGP command displays all BGP routes. You can recognize the routes advertised by your router by the very high value in the wait column. If you want to see only the routes advertised by your router, you can specify an output filter in the show IP BGP command. You can also use the inverse filter to display routes received from your BGP neighbors. The show IP route command displays all IP routes known to your router. The IP subnets directly connected to your router are marked with the letter C in the first column and the BGP routes are marked with the letter B.
you can find more BGP resources at the following links. The best place to start is the BGP Resource Center located at wiki.nil.com bgp.